Hey guys, welcome back to another video on VP Concepts YouTube channel. Uh, before I start the month's video uh, formally, I'm giving a little preface here to the video. I wanted to give you guys all a big thank you for supporting uh, Dirt K's new album, Flying Unidentified Cosmic Creations, that came out last month. Uh, if you watched last month's video, um, I showed a screen share of that on Tidal and asked you guys to go support that, Apple Music, Tidal, and et cetera. Um, and you guys did, and uh, a great response, so thank you so much. Also, I was able to co-create a new shirt design with him for his store on the album. So here's a picture of it right here. And that was a lot of fun to do and a privilege, so that's great. So um, thirdly, because of the response on his new album and you guys supporting him, he decided to, uh, uh, with a little bit of my nudging, uh, to re-release his 2009 SACD, Quartet Equinox. That was recorded on multi-thousand dollar Sony equipment, a two-year project. It's, in, it's mastered in 5.1 in stereo and red book. And uh, you can hear it on YouTube, but uh, there's physical media. And I told him a lot of the guys, although streaming's great, still want hard media. So he went ahead and made that. I've got the, uh, the album right here. It's called, uh, it's Quartet Equinox, Philip's Wish. Okay, so you guys can go purchase that um, at his store. Again, I'll put a link there and you can have some nice uh, physical media, some SACD. It's a great jazz album. Okay, so with that, we will start our new, uh, officially start the new video for the month. Thanks guys for watching. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the VP Concepts YouTube channel. As you can see, I wanted to start the video this month out the window at the beginning instead of the end. Heck, maybe I'll do both. But uh, I'm very excited because this afternoon a new product came in that I really have been wanting to try. Um, iFi let me know that they have a LAN eye silencer. And as you guys know, uh, last year when I set up my network upgrades in here. Um, I had an issue with Tidal that's having some dropouts when I'm using my cell phone. And I found out from you know a couple buddies of mine that when they're using the native you know, app on an actual device, like on a PC, they're not having that happen, but when they stream it across the network, they are having some dropouts to their DAC. So um, I, as you guys uh, might remember also, I tried to use a um, power supply upgrade with the um, iFi product on my router, but the um, power connection is proprietary to the power supply and I wasn't able to do it. So I've really been frustrated because I really wanted to see if I could put some kind of uh, upgrade filtering wise on the router to see if that would help that and also increase the quality of audio, um, you know, when I am listening to Tidal. So um, what I did is uh, this, this product came out and I got, I got one and I actually got two because one, I want to show this with you guys to see, because I know a lot of us audiophiles and you know music lovers listen to music streaming in the house. And so what I wanted to do is see if this product would in any way, shape or form increase the quality of the stream for the audio quality. Um, you know, obviously I'm going to be looking for the standard things, right? Uh, is it uh, more transparent and relaxed and open and natural, warmer, or the high sweeter, is the bass tighter, those kind of things, right? Is soundstage better? We're going to look for those things. Um, but also I want to see if when I'm on Tidal, if uh, I can stop these dropouts. Um, so I'm going to, let's, let's take a look at this real quick. I'm going to put my glasses on. And we're going to go over what this thing is, what it does, what it claims to do, okay? Because I have no idea. We haven't tried it yet, okay? So it says it, it features advanced filtration, uh, prevents noise from interfering with the digital signal, transient voltage suppression, TVS, protects against surges in voltage transients, supports gigabyte Ethernet with no speed restrictions, network transformer delivers complete electrical isolation. So this is galvanically isolated, guys. Shielded case with integral ground wire blocks external interference, minimizes packet loss, and ensures stable signal transmission. Uses a standard RJ45 Ethernet cable connector and connects between your broadband. Bro uh, that's a tongue twister. Connects between your broadband router and network audio streamer. 
So uh, yeah, this is what it is. It's, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two of them again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use one uh, down here uh, into the wall uh, because going from the router into the wall jack, because that's where all the, uh, you know, the main, the main signal goes in and then into the router in the closet. And then I'm also, I think I'm gonna try one. Actually, after that's burned in, we're gonna give that a listen for a week. Then I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna put it either here coming out of the wall into the, into the uh, DAC, or I'm actually gonna get behind the DAC and put it directly in there. But more than likely, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it out of here and, and see if that improves it using two, okay? So um, just wanted to give you the introduction, show you guys what I'm looking at, and uh, we'll open it up, uh, we'll plug it in, we'll give it a try. And if this thing works, guys, you're looking at what, 90 bucks, $89? to upgrade your network sound quality. That's probably the least expensive tweak <laughs> next to my Oracle Illuminator that costs 50 bucks for my CD treatments. But you know, as far as the, the uh, network, that's as cheap as I'm gonna get. So I'm pretty happy about the cost of this thing um, and we'll give it a try, okay? So we'll be right back. Okay, so I just popped the first box open and uh, just to show you guys what this looks like. Thank you. Uh, just to show you guys what this thing looks like. Comes on a little uh, protective, uh, Paper, which is nice and with one hand I'm gonna gymnastically open this up for us dexterously okay so there she is you know what I like about this is it matches and get get some better light here for goodness sakes there you go so it has it has the same architecture and aesthetics of the uh, other i5 purifier products you guys can see here when I, ha I have the one for the USB and this obviously is matching it. So I really like that. That's, that's a good looking piece. So there's your, you know, your port connection for the male and, and female. And uh, we'll go ahead and plug it in and see if we can hear a difference. Okay guys, so it's been three weeks since I put this device in the system and I've had plenty of time with it to form my opinions. Now that being said, we're going to really clarify some things before we move on to this video, okay? My opinions are my own, my equipment is my own, my cabling and my line conditioning are my own. System synergy is different for everyone. Whether there are trolls, haters, educated music lovers and audiophiles, you're all welcome, but I will be completely transparent with you and let you know that you have a 30-day risk-free purchase through Amazon that iFi officially sells through. This device takes about two to three weeks to burn in. Whether you believe in that or not, try it out. The point of that is it's well within the four week window, one month that Amazon allows for a return. So there is no snake oil. There is no tomfoolery. Nobody's trying to take advantage of anyone. You can try this device. You like it, you keep it. You don't, you send it back. You don't pay anything. It's a free shipping label back. So this is a risk-free try for a little amount of money. And in my opinion, a huge return. Yes, this damn thing worked. Guys, it's a passive filter to the best of my knowledge, okay? This thing plugs into the back of the router. There is no power supply for it separately. One thing that I noticed that's different from other iFi products is that if you notice that the eye silencer that I'm using for the USB powers here. If I can flip this open with one hand, if you notice here, we have power as well, two, two, two LEDs, all right, that's powering off of the USB ports as well. This, for the power, is also lit up and is powering off of, uh, an external power supply. So everything has power. This device here has no lights, as you notice. What it does have, and I'll bring you over here, get my glasses on. What I do have here is a uh, is two little lights that actually have, basically there's a mirror in there that reflects the uh, light. Actually the mirror, it, it comes through here as well. So basically, some modem routers have the two blinking lights. All this is doing is sending that reflection through mirrors over to here so you can see it while it's plugged in. Mine does not have that. 
So th these are not indications of any power supply internally or externally going to the device as a passive filter. And the shocker here for me, guys, is that when I took this, put plug this thing in for four days, um, I loved the sound, but I didn't love the sound. And what I mean is the law of equal exchange, right? You put something in, it makes it better, it makes something worse. What was happening here is when I was playing my title, everything became uh, tighter and, 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 and sharper and, and, and fuller, but there was a lack of transparency, that relaxed, uh, uh, relaxed analog type feel, you know, sound. Uh, you know what I'm talking about for the guys who play vinyl. It's kind of transparent, and open, and relaxed. And also the, the timbres weren't right. The timbres uh, were, were a little bit uh, artificial. And it kind of reminded me of that, uh, what's it called? Uh, inner, inner Analog Dialog, that channel where he reviewed the Hollow Springs DAC and the T plus A DAC. And um, at the end, he said he preferred the T plus A, and I almost fell over because the Hollow Springs was just so much more analog sounding. The timbres were more realistic, and the TNA just sounded to me hi-fi. Um, but that was his opinion. Um, I, I, you know, I, I like the Hollow Springs. But anyway, that's what I was getting with this that reminded me so much of his video. But what I did is did something which I cannot, unfortunately, repeat for you guys, or even none of it makes sense. But I wanted to see if two of these in the system would, would sound better. So I went over to the big system and I plugged it in over there, like I said I might do, and it was absolutely terrible. Everything became extremely stringent. So I took it out and then came back over here and plugged it in and just went to over here to do some dishes, right? And about, um, about 15 minutes later as I'm listening, a song comes on and I'm like, what the hell? That sounds so freaking real. It was making my hair stand up on my neck. And I, I listened to two, three songs and I went, it's totally changed. What did I do different? What did I do different? It's, it's, it's simply the next morning. And I was like, well, shit, I went and I, and I plugged and unplugged the, uh, another one into the, into the line and then unplugged it real quick. Did that do something? Did that relax it? Did two of them do something within the switch, network switch or whatever. I, I can't even qualify, guys, but doing that changed it. Now, whether that was gonna do it already with, with another day or two of burning, it, it could have, but whatever happened, it relaxed. And I, for the next two and a half weeks, I plugged it in, I plugged it out, trying to repeat it, trying to get it to go back to bad again. It just stayed locked in good. So um, I don't know what that was. That's the only variable, scientific variable that I did that made me like it more is playing, plugging a second one in the line. Didn't like it for about 10 or 15 seconds. I said, oh, no, 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 no. Unplugged it, plugged it back in. About 15, 20 minutes later, I'm listening to the music and suddenly it sounded perfect. So I don't know what that did, but that's with my network and my switch and my cables. It could have been a total coincidence because it was already close to having its break in time. Who knows? But bottom line is this thing's never coming out of my system. Now, we are gonna obviously be doing a, 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 an AB, a physical AB for you guys to show you what I hear, the difference, like I do with all my videos, so that we can all together hear uh, the difference. If you don't hear one, great. If, if you do, great. Some of you guys comment that you can hear every little nuance through YouTube that I'm playing through this phone that you can hear and other guys say they don't hear a difference. So depending on what you're playing it on, they, that obviously it'll affect it too. So again, risk-free, 30 day, let it burn in for two, three weeks. If you, if you like it, keep it. If you don't send it back, it's, what, what, what did I say it was, 89, 90 bucks, whatever. That's a freaking steal for what I'm getting out of this, okay? So we're gonna go to the before and the after and listen to this right now.
guys. So after hearing that, what I've experienced is that the sound stage goes back deeper immediately compared to having it out of the system. Also, the chestiness and boominess, a little bit of boxiness that I got without it is now fixed. It's much tighter and everything's just, just faster and tighter and not so chesty and boxy. Okay, also the highs are sweeter um, and everything's just mo more coherent, less loose sounding. But the timbres is the neatest thing for me because obviously you just heard one song. But for me, um, the timbres just, the instruments sound more natural and realistic in the room. Now, there is something, if you guys may not, may, some of you probably noticed or not, I wasn't playing Tidal. This is a LAN filter, right? For streaming on the hard line. So why was I playing my iTunes just, just a minute ago? Well, one, it's copyright protected music <laughs> that I won't get demonetized on, uh, rather. It, it's, it's not copyrighted. Um, and also, uh, I found a very incredibly pleasing after effect of this device that I was not expecting. I got this for streaming Tidal so that my Tidal would sound better and I could see if I could get the dropouts to stop. The side effect of this, and I don't understand how completely, but I, I'm gonna spitball here. Because this device is plugged into the router, the hard line is going into the computer receiving that filtering. The power, um, uh, this device is also plugged in my router to my line conditioner. So this device somehow between the line conditioner between between the uh, hard line, it is creating a filtering effect that is affecting the whole PC, the whole the whole MacBook, and that is affecting not only tidal streaming, but it's doing something to the filtration inside of the unit when I'm playing iTunes, which has nothing to do with any connectivity through the Ethernet. Okay. So um, this is having some kind of overall filtering effect. It could be the synergy of my other iFi products, or it could be doing it by itself. I'm certainly not going to start tearing every single thing out of the system to figure out what's doing what. I just know that without it, my iTunes sounds a certain way. I plug it back in, and it changes the iTunes sound, just like it's doing to the network streaming with the Tidal app. Okay, so... Wow, I'm so freaking happy about that because it's affecting all of my music, not not just the streaming, but my hard hard burned in CDs that I put in through here. It's affecting that too through iTunes. So, um, wow, right? So, so for those of you guys who are using like I am, your music all in one through your through your Mac, amazing. Secondly. Um, I was having a huge issue, as you guys know, since I started this whole project with Tidal and streaming, where um, probably five, six times a day, I would come over and music would stop playing and the play button was just spinning, uh, re trying to refresh, and it really pissed me off. <laughs> so um, since I put this device in for three weeks, every single day, I play it all day from morning to 11, 12 at night, and there's not one stoppage during play. I couldn't believe it. That in itself is worth the money for this thing, okay? Because it was so frustrating to have to keep getting up and closing the app, reopening it to get it to start again. Secondly, the, uh, the audio dropouts that I was getting are cut down so freaking much um, having this in, like the, the drops I was getting. Um, I, I listened one night for two hours, didn't have one drop. Now, one thing that I noticed that when it does drop out and it's happening still when I'm on my phone and I'm going through stuff, when I'm playing through the app to, to my electric company yet, um, when I'm playing through there and I'm on my phone, like sitting on the couch uh, and streaming, I'm going through pages and loading stuff and every once in a while I'll get that drop and it almost sounds like a tear because the music doesn't stop. It used to like stop for a minute, like a skip. Now it keeps playing, but it kind of goes, you know, like it's, uh, so it still sucks that it's doing that something's going on my, on my network still where when, I, when I'm when i using the phone while I'm listening and, and scrolling through stuff and loading pages, it once in a while drops. But even that, it's so much less than it was. Um, it was constant. I mean, it would do it constantly. Now it just does it every once in a while. So, so yes, guys, for this money, I get better sound on my streaming, better sound on my iTunes and internal hard drive. I get uh, less dropouts when I'm listening to music. 
uh, the, the, the app over here on the computer stays loaded all day, and I never get any dropouts on there because Tuttle's native, natively on there, on the computer. I'm not streaming it across the room. So I'm not a tech, man. I'm just a guy who loves music and wants his formats in every way possible he can get them. And uh, this was, I'm able to do that much better now with this iFi LAN purifier. So is it worth it? Yes. It, um, is it risk-free? Yes. So go give it a try uh, on your network. Don't go spend $800, $1,200, $2,500 on a new network switch. Try this thing. Plug it into your modem router or your DAC. Do not use more than one. I did not get any extra benefit. Um, and give it a try and see, guys. Please give it, give it a chance. Give it five, six, seven days to play and open up. A, B it, plug it in and out real quick like I did to test it. If you're completely happy with it after three weeks, keep it. But I'd love for you to share your opinions with me. Uh, a lot of you guys who watch my videos, some of you pop back, but a lot of you guys don't. I'd love to know your feedback and opinion, opinions on the stuff that I buy for me. Remember, I'm not a shill. I'm not selling this stuff. This is stuff I get in my house for me. And if I like it, I share it with you guys. And um, I love this thing. And I want to know if you guys do too. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this month, guys. Um, we'll catch you on the next video. Uh, appreciate you guys. Here's our goodbye view out the window once again. And we'll see you on the next video for May. Talk to you then, guys. Bye-bye.